This is breaking news now on your side. That breaking news, danger and drama as a deadly fire shuts down downtown Oconomowoc. One person is dead. Eight firefighters are injured in the four alarm blaze. That fire burned for hours. Now the damage and loss of life is just starting to settle in. Good evening. I'm Charles Benson. And I'm Shelly Walka. Terrible night out in Oconomowoc. It was a massive team effort to fight this fire. And we have team coverage tonight. Our Keller Russell talks with a man who tried to rescue a victim. But we begin with Todd Hicks, who arrived just minutes after the fire started. Well, Charles and Shelley, the flames may be out for now, but this damage to this building is very serious. Now, right now, just a handful of firefighters remain on the scene, but that is a very different scene than just a couple of hours ago where nearly 100 firefighters were here. Of course, those firefighters battled this blaze in unbearable temperatures. As the sun went down in Oconomowoc, this deadly day is one people here won't soon forget. Firefighters were called to this building on North Main Street just before one. Mark Lewis and his wife grabbed their phone after spotting smoke billowing. So I called 911 right away and I sent my wife to go knock on doors. But I couldn't, I couldn't get to the fire escape because there was already flame. The Oconomowoc couple tell me they spotted burning grass and vines behind the building before watching in horror as it shot up the back wall. We also have another person that lives a few doors down that also saw that. So we think it might have started on the outside and went up to the second floor. More than a dozen fire departments fought back the flames and struggled to keep the fire from spreading in sweltering temperatures. This block not expected to open anytime soon. We'll have officers here all night. And Wisconsin Avenue, just to the right of me right here, reopened just a short time ago. But the street behind me right here, where this fire took place, Main Street, will remain closed. Firefighters are worried about possible flare-ups overnight, so they're going to station people here throughout the evening. That may reopen tomorrow. At this point, we're really not sure. Of course, eight firefighters were injured. Seven of them have been treated and released. On your side, live in Oconomowoc, Todd Hicks, today's TMJ4. Todd, I'm trying to understand how this fire started outside, worked its way up on this brick building and somehow then entered into the second floor. Well, Charles, that is, of course, the million dollar question, but the witnesses that I spoke to when they arrived on the scene saw a crackling fire near a car engine and near a car. They say the grass was on fire, a bush was on fire, and of course, the witnesses tell me that they saw those flames just shoot up right on the side of the building and into the windows. All right, Todd Hicks, live for us in Oconomowoc. Thank you very much.